Controversial videos of a BART police officer tasing a passenger, and they have some critics leveling charges at the BART police department of excessive force and racial profiling. Tonight, Crown Force Dan Kerman speaks with the chief, and we hear from a woman on that train. First, we begin with Grant Lotus. He's here now to show us the dramatic videos. Grant. Yeah, Pam, we'll get to that video in just a moment, but first, the mugshot of the person who was tased. You see him here. Robert Asbury was booked to the San Mateo County Sheriff's office in late January. Asbury was released this morning. At the time of this incident, turns out there was a warrant out for his arrest. Now we do want to take a closer look at those videos. All right, so there are two different people shooting video on this train. One perspective shows the initial tasing up close. You'll see that right there. The other vantage point shows the second tasing from more of a distance. That's what this is. Police say they got a call on January 29th about a drunk guy harassing people on a BART platform. When police get there, the suspect is not on the platform, but they find a man matching the description on the train. It is Asbury. Police confront him, ask him to get off the train. They say he resisted, which led to the tasing. Later, more BART officers arrive, and they say Asbury again refuses to comply with the officer's orders. And so he is tased for a second time, according to police. Eventually, he's taken into custody for resisting arrest and public intoxication. Now, we've posted both videos on our website in their entirety. More than 13 minutes of video really kind of sets the scene on that BART train. If you want to check them out, crown4.com. Pam? Meantime, the Internal Affairs Department for BART Police is investigating, and the Independent Police Auditor is also looking into the incident. New tonight at 8, Crown Force Dan Kerman talks to BART's Chief of Police, and we also hear from a woman who was on that train who is critical of how police handled the situation. While well, at least two BART passengers videotaped the tasing of BART passenger Robert Asbury, another has blogged about it. Vidya Kaipa blogs, she spoke to Asbury prior to police boarding the train. She admits Asbury didn't cooperate and says police gave Asbury ample warning before tasing him the first time. But she's critical of what happened later. She says once other officers arrived, they tased him a second time with a sickening five second shock that was both excessive and unnecessary. I'm not going to prejudge whether it is or is not excessive force, and I would ask the public to do the same thing. While BART Police Chief Kenton Rainey is holding off on any conclusions until all the facts are in, he does want to make something clear. Uh, the suspect was kicking and struggling with the officers. Uh, as long as that suspect's hands are free uh, and has not been taken into custody, he still poses a threat to uh, law enforcement personnel. In her blog post, Kaipa also accused BART police of racial profiling because Asbury should never have been stopped in the first place because he wasn't posing a threat. The reason he was asked to leave the train was because he was a drunk black man, she writes. But the chief says that's absolutely untrue. Asbury was stopped because he matched the description of a man who was harassing people on the platform. The chief says all video from the train, the platform, online, and officer body cameras will now be reviewed by the Internal Affairs Department. The Internal Affairs investigation could take six months to complete. At the same time, BART's independent auditor is also reviewing the situation. At BART Police Headquarters, in Oakland, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News. Tonight at 8.